In this presentation, we will start with this topic that is equivalence relation. And let me tell you, this is one of the most important topics to be discussed in relations chapter. So let's get started. First, we will discuss the definition of equivalence relation. A relation R on a set A is an equivalence relation if and only if R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. It must be well noted, relation R on a set A is an equivalence relation if and only if all these three properties are satisfied. That is, relation R must be reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Okay. Now, let's see some examples in order to understand this concept in a better way. Let's say we have set A which consists of these elements 0, 1, 2, 3 and we have relation R1 which consists of these ordered pairs 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. These are all the ordered pairs in this relation R1. Now, let me ask this question. Is R1 an equivalence relation? Obviously, this relation is an equivalence relation. Why? This relation is reflexive. Let me tell you why. Here you can see, for every element A belongs to this set, we have an ordered pair of the form A, A in this relation R1. Right? Here you can see, we have an ordered pair 0, 0. Then we have an ordered pair 1, 1. Then we have an ordered pair 2, 2. And finally, we have an ordered pair 3, 3. So, this relation is reflexive. Then obviously, this relation is symmetric and transitive. There is no doubt about this. You can check this on your own. Therefore, this relation R1 is an equivalence relation because all these three properties are satisfied for this relation. Right? Let's see R2, which consists of these ordered pairs 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3. Is R2 an equivalence relation? First, we must ask this question to ourselves. Is R2 reflexive? See this, we have this ordered pair 0, 0. Fine. We have an ordered pair 2, 2. Then we have this ordered pair 3, 3. But there is no ordered pair 1, 1 in this relation. Right? Therefore, this relation is not reflexive. Because 1, 1 is not a member of R2. Therefore, this relation is not reflexive. There is no need to check any other property. This relation is not reflexive. So, it is clear that this relation is not an equivalence relation. Fine. Now, let's see R3, which consists of these ordered pairs 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. These are all the ordered pairs of this relation R3. Is R3 an equivalence relation? Ask yourself, is R3 reflexive? You can see we have these ordered pairs 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Obviously, this relation is reflexive, right? So, R3 is reflexive. Now, is R3 symmetric? You can see that for 1, 2, we have 2, 1, right? For the rest of the ordered pairs, there is no need to check. But for this ordered pair, that is 1, 2, there must be 2, 1 in this relation, R3. And you can see that 2, 1 is there. Therefore, this relation is symmetric, right? Is R3 transitive? For 1, 2 and 2, 1, we obviously have 1, 1. For 2, 1, 1, 2, we have 2, 2 in this relation. Obviously, this relation is transitive as well. Right? Therefore, R3 is an equivalence relation. This relation R3 is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Therefore, relation R3 is an equivalence relation. Right? Now, let's see relation R4. This is relation R4, which consists of these ordered pairs 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 2, 2, 3, 3. Is R4 an equivalence relation? Is this relation an equivalence relation? Ask yourself, is R4 reflexive? Yes, you can see 0, 0 is there, 1, 1 is there, 2, 2 is there, 3, 3 is there. Obviously, this relation is reflexive, right? Is R4 symmetric? Okay, let's check this. We have 0, 1. For 0, 1, 1, 0 must be there in this relation. You can see 1, 0 is there. Okay. For 0, 2, 2, 0 must be there in this relation. You can see 2, 0 is there. Fine. For 1, 2, we must have 2, 1 in this relation. You can see that there is no ordered pair 2, 1 in this relation. Therefore, this relation is not symmetric. Fine. Hence, it is clear that R4 is not an equivalence relation. Right? Now, let's see relation R5. Here, R5 is nothing but an empty set. Is R5 an equivalence relation? Ask yourself, is R5 reflexive? No, right? We know that R5 is not reflexive. An empty relation is not reflexive, right? There is no need to check whether R5 is symmetric or not. 
we can clearly say that R5 is not reflexive, therefore R5 is not an equivalence relation. As simple as that, right? Now, let's see relation R6. R6 is nothing but A cross A. Fine. Is R6 an equivalence relation? Ask yourself, is R6 reflexive? Obviously. A cross A is the largest possible relation, right? It must include every ordered pair, right? Therefore, this relation must be reflexive, symmetric and transitive, right? Therefore, R6 is an equivalence relation. Isn't that simple? We have discussed six different relations and we have seen how to identify whether a relation is an equivalence relation or not, right? It is very simple to identify whether a relation is an equivalence relation or not. For this, we must have to check three properties. Relation must be reflexive, symmetric and transitive. If all these three properties are satisfied, then we can say that relation is said to be an equivalence relation. Fine? Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.